I completely forgot this existed. You know, back when I used to do Minecraft map making basics, things were pretty good, you know, and that guy's still, still walking around. And you know, it, it was quite frequent. We did a couple of things, but boy, is it back because today we have a viewer suggested video and this is map making basics episode. What, what episode are we on actually? I, it's in the title. <laughs> And this video in particular is to do with armor stands. Can you make a video on how you made the armor stand that looked like you and how you got it to have arms and be in that pose? JPM1012? Absolutely. So this suggestion comes from episode number two of Map Making Basics where I showed off this armor stand where it says map by Happy Was One and it's in a pose. So first of all, we're gonna go through something nice and simple and we're gonna go through the arms. We're gonna be doing everything else on a website which I will link down below. Possibly two websites, but at this point I don't know. So to get the arms and remove the base plate, we can do this in my Minecraft. And of course we can do this on the external site which we'll be using in a minute. So all you want to do is look at your armor stand, you'll know you're looking at it because the uh, little box around the blocks will disappear just like that as you can see. And all you want to do is type in slash and you want to do data merge entity and then you should see a long string of text like that, that's the armor stand. That will be different for you than it is for me. And you want to type a space and then do squiggly brackets like so and then you want to type in no with a capital N arms with a capital a semicolon 1b hang on a minute change that to no base plate and that removes the base plate and then if you want to give it arms you can just press the t key to open up your chat press up on your keyboard and change no base plate to show arms i don't know what my english just did there but show arms 1b and there you go now your armor stand has arms and no base plate However, if we want to take things one step further and create this, we're going to need to go onto an external website because you know what, let's face it, it's easier that way. Alright, so here's what we're wanting to create. We're wanting to create an arm stand that looks like this and says something at the top. Looks like your Minecraft skin has your Minecraft head, looks like your Minecraft skin with the armor and so on and so forth. So, here's how we're going to do it. We're going to go to the following website which is going to be linked in... Where's the website? Okay, so the end goal is to have something that looks like this. This is what we're going to be creating. It's going to say our Minecraft name, it's going to have our Minecraft face, it's going to have a command block and it's going to have a piece of armor that looks slightly like our character. So, how do we do that? Well, it's actually nice and simple. We just need to use this website here, which is Minecraft Armor Stand, website 1 in the description below. And we also need to use this website, which is going to be called website 2 in the description below and go away adverts. Okay, so we're going to start off with website number 1. And what we're going to do is we're going to start by doing no base plate and we're going to do the show arms. And we're going to make the pose. Now, the head needs to be tilted down. This is tilt, this one is rotate, and this one is your actual, like, like sideways tilt like take the head and tilt it down ever so slightly just like that and then we're going to take the left arm and we're going to bring it round like this so it's about there and we're going to tilt it in this way so it's like that and bring it down slightly to there then we're going to do the same with the other arm so we're going to bring it all the way around to there we're going to bring it in slightly except we're going to have to do it all the way around this time and we're going to take it up and that should mimic sort of what my armor stand looks like. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are done with this website. We've got the armor stand looking down and we've got it grabbing an invisible block. So we're gonna go down to here and we're gonna go to this button here. We're gonna click the copy and we're gonna do Control C or right click copy. And now we're gonna go to website number two and we're gonna click on the slash give command. We're gonna scroll down past the screen box to the yellow box, type in AR for armor stand. And what we're gonna to want to do is go to the pose button here, press the S, click in this box, import that command from website one, go back to website two and press the import button. That's gonna import our position data. So now we can close that and everything is sorted. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to disabled slots and we're gonna disable everything. What that does there is it pretty much just means nobody can remove and place things. Once you've placed down your armor stand, if you're in adventure mode, you cannot do anything with the armor stand. The armor stand is safe. Uh, we're also going to set up a few more things. We're going to do show arms to true like we did earlier. We're going to do no base plate to uh, true, persistence required true. And if you want to know what any of these things are, you can click the little question marks. It tells you exactly what they do. For example, if the mob must not despawn naturally. Okay, we're also going to do the following. We're going to do the uh, no base gravity keep that to unset do not do that otherwise you will have problems uh, we're going to do invulnerable to true and we're going to do i believe actually that's about it apart from custom name visible set that to true click the s next to custom name we're going to be doing this to our minecraft name so value is where you're going to put your either map by or just your name 
So for example, I put the Happy Wheels one inside of here, and we're going to set a color of white. Here we go, white. And the font can be whatever you want, unless you're using a specific Minecraft version. The font will not render in the MC Stacker preview. Uh, if you know how to use this, use it. I don't, so we're just going to stick with standard Minecraft font. Uh, I'm going to do bold true, and now that's everything set up. Apart from the fact he's not holding anything yet, so holding is left hand, off hand is right hand, or if you've switched it around, holding is main hand, off hand is going to be uh, your other hand. So here we go, we're going to first edit item and we're going to do a command block. By default it will be chain command block, so click this, I'm going to choose normal command block. We can now press the H button. We're going to go to head and we're going to do edit item, and because we're doing a player head, just simply type in player head. And then come down to skull owner and type in your Minecraft name. Mine is the happy, and it is case sensitive, the happy wheels one, just like that. Uh, go ahead and press the H, go to body, and we're going to go here, edit item, and we're going to want some leather, uh, leather, what's these called, leather cap. Uh, for the body, no we're not, we're going to want a leather tunic. Um, we're going to make the leather tunic red, because I have a nice red leather tunic. We're going to press the H on body, we're going to go to leg, and then we're going to type in the same thing. We're going to go to leather, and this time we're going to do leather, I think they're called leggings on here? No, they're called leather, yep, yeah, they're called leather pants on here. And we're going to do that. We're going to set the color to, I sort of have, what, this sort of color. So we'll go there. And then we're going to press the H. As you can see, it's nice and simple. You're just clicking on the S, edit item, leather, boots, like that. Click on the color, and then you just change the color. So my leather boots are blue. So we're just going to select a nice blue like that one. There we go. And then we're going to click off. And then we've already got our pose. So now, in theory, we should be able to copy this command like so. And because it's a give command, we're going to get an item, which means if I haven't said it already, we're going to be able to do this as a Minecraft saved toolbar feature. So let's go back into the game. We're going to type in slash give your name, C-O-M-M, -M, press tab on your keyboard, hit enter, a command block, and you should have this. Paste in the command, set it to always active, and here we go. We have our armor stand. And hey, hey, as you can see, it works. Oh, I'm actually so happy. This has taken me so long to do just to get a replica of this. Do you want to know why? Do you want to know why? Gravity. If you set an armor stand to have gravity, or should I say no gravity, it breaks. Uh, that is the tutorial. If you want to save your item so you've got this and you can use it in every single world you play, uh, like I have here, I have a bunch of armor stands. And if I want my armor stand in a world, all I have to do is press X1 and I have my armor stand. I've even given it a name, Mapmaker's Armor Stand. That was also done on MC Stacker, which you can do by renaming the item like so. If you go to here, you can give it a custom name here. You can click name and you can give it a name, so uh, me, like so, there you go, me, this is me, we're going to give it a colour of uh, aqua, it's going to be in bold, and now when we do it and go back to Minecraft, you should see if we give ourselves a command block, same way we did before, C-O-M-M, -M, press tab on your keyboard, always active, do this, it's called me, and of course if you want to save this by the way, uh, all you've got to do is go into your thing, and check your creative mode, so load active uh, hotbar and save hotbar. If I want to get my armor stand, I press X1 on the keyboard and it gives me that. If I want to save something, all I need to do is press C1. Now I won't do that, but actually, you know what? There you go. Item hotbar saved, restore with X1. So I press X1, there it is. If I clear it and press X1, there it is. That's how that works. Uh, yeah, that's about it. We now have me in Minecraft. Yeah, and you can have you in Minecraft as well. I uh, hope this video helped. It took a while to make, so if you do enjoy the content, make sure you so, uh, consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out a lot, and uh, not many of you are actually subscribed, so if you, uh, if you think you're subscribed and you're not, consider subscribing. It really helps out a lot. Thank you folks so much for watching. Mine has been happy, and I'll see you next time. Maybe I'll bring back this... Uh, maybe I'll bring back... Maybe I'll bring back my... Maybe I'll bring back my... Maybe I'll bring back my... Maybe I'll bring back the map making basic series. Bye bye!